Hello, hello, hello. This is old school girl. How y'all doing? I'm about to get this walk out, y'all. Oh, yes, it feels good. It feels good right now. It's getting kind of cool. But, hello, welcome again. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm old school girl. I started my weight loss journey April of last year, April 3rd of 2021. And I have lost 42 pounds. And I am 48 years old. Okay. And I feel 10 times better than I did before because of the weight loss. And a lot of you guys want to know what all I did to lose the weight. I explained most of it in my video or my lives. Definitely you will know if you catch my lives. Uh, for those who haven't seen my live, be, you know, just go watch them. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Um, but most of my live videos are still on Facebook, most of them. But, and I have some right on YouTube as well. But, what all I do for my weight loss is, you know, of course I do my ab workout with my videos. And I do a lot of walking, like what I'm doing now. Or just walking to store to store just walking constantly constantly doing something constantly staying active and I got a job also that keep me on my feet all day so during the beginning of my weight loss I did so much stuff I put waist bands on waist trainer saran wraps and at that time it was super hot when I say it was hot it was hot I was sweating it off. I went walking up the hills, walking up steps, and doing my video, which I was doing, which I was doing, that lasted like up to three hours, doing my uh, tutorials, which started on TikTok. So I did a lot of tutorials on TikTok in the beginning that I couldn't even keep up with my own self. And so during the time, I just kept going because it was other people that was doing it too so it kept me motivated to keep going and so i just stayed to it because i just felt like i need to get in better shape due to what the doctor said you know uh i was on the borderline so i said okay i need to do something and so when i started it um uh, i was still eating wrong wasn't eating healthy and stuff and you know, but I knew the different right off because I was doing the live tutorial for so long at a long period of time in a day that you can't help but to see some results. You know, I'm doing three hours here, and then the next day I'm doing another two hours, then six hours, and then I go walking, I'm going up the stairs, and I am started doing it at home, doing the video. That's a lot of workout alone. And so I started to uh, watch what I eat. And, okay, I said, I'm finna stop eating all this bread, fried chicken, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stop eating all this bad food. You know, all the rice, because I cook so much rice and chicken so much. I said, let me stop cooking all this rice and chicken and let me do some, uh, you know, cauliflower rice, you know. And uh, never did like it, but once I start, started to you know, eat it, enjoy, and cook it the way I want to cook it. Cook it, it, it was better. But anyway, I just st stopped eating all that bread and sugar and all the bubble drinks, all the teas, sweet teas, and all the sweet coffees and uh, the mochas and ice cream and all that stuff. I had to leave all that stuff alone. Going out to the restaurant, eating all this stuff. And then basically, I cooked my own stuff basically, but it wasn't healthy. Eating all the box food, container food, all the high corn starch stuff like that so I had to leave all this stuff alone start eating after 8 o'clock I was eating late so I had to stop eating late and stuff like that I had to find a ground for myself I had to start disciplining myself and then later on down the line people was talking about keto 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 and they say are you on keto I said no I ain't know nothing about keto at that time but uh it was based on that style because I stopped eating all this sweet potato, potato. I was eating all this stuff before. That's that was 
that was the stuff that was putting me down and stuff like that. So, and I find out keto was just based on that type of thing where you not eating all that bad stuff. I said, okay, I can try some of the meals, you know. Uh, so I try some of the meals and stuff, try all the different options and stuff they had. It's just the same thing, you know. You eat basically the food you love, you're just not eating all the bad stuff with it. So I said, I can deal with this. But I was losing my weight how I wanted to lose my weight. I didn't want to go to no gym. I felt like I wasn't ready for gym, never was ready for no gym. So I didn't want to do the gym thing. I read just uh, just lose weight slowly, like how I've been doing. Just walk, uh, eat healthy, do my ad workout, dance, stay active. That was my way of losing weight. How I wanted to lose it. Everybody lose weight a different way. How they want to lose weight. I just want to lose it how I want to lose weight. A lot of people didn't uh, didn't believe in the weight loss. I, you know, at first I was skeptical by doing it, but. I, skeptical and get that right so i said you know let me try i said maybe this this ad workout thing will work might work on me you know i saw that uh young lady doing it from china i want to say china uh her name is Janny. so when i saw the video you know, I said, let me try. I saw other people doing it and playing and making fun of it and having fun with it, you know. And I said, so let me try too, you know. Even though I put a little comedy in mind too, but I still took it serious. So, um, so I kept on with it. You know, you can't just start some one day and say, oh, this ain't gonna work. You can, you, you know, whether you do it two, three days. You got to keep on going. I kept on going. So when my video went viral, I said, okay, didn't know it was going to go viral, but I was too embarrassed to upload the video because um, I was embarrassed of how I looked, you know, my stomach and big I was. I'm like so embarrassed and stuff. I'm always hiding it up on the clothes and girdles and stuff. I got tired of doing that. So I said, let me post it up there. So I posted a video and I was on my way to Vegas that that morning and I hit the button and clicked and by the time I got to Vegas and left Vegas I think I was probably at like 15, 16,000 followers at that time if I'm not mistaken I kind of forgot but um but I'm thankful that people you know follow me and want to watch my journey for those who have been watching my journey I appreciate everything you guys motivate me as well so you stay motivated Cause I'm here you know I'm still you know trying to better my health you know it's not a day where you don't have to go without bettering your health you always want to continue better your health I hope I said that right y'all because I, I do not want to edit this video so um, yeah and another thing I mean dealing with the dinners and stuff today my mouth that's why I can't talk like I want to talk you spend so much money to get your teeth and stuff right and they not, you know, want to just throw anything in your mouth and want you to accept it. But I'm not. I spent too much money and ran my credit just to get my mouth together so I can be able to talk like I want to and do more videos. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not as active of doing anything online because I'm so embarrassed by my mouth. Y'all might not see nothing wrong, but if I smile, y'all take off running. Y'all be like, woo! Ah. But, uh, I'm always uh, worrying about how I look. I love myself. Don't get that wrong. I do love myself. I just, I'm just trying to better myself. Um, but I just hate when people take advantage of the weeks and take advantage of good people, you know? and treat them like they ain't nothing, you know? So don't never let nobody treat you like you ain't nothing. You know, you always fight for yourself, you know? You never let nobody, you know, call you out, call you out names or make you feel bad about your way, make you feel bad about your looks, you know? Eventually you're gonna have to tell them, you know, once you tell them, you know, they'll bag off and, and then, especially when they don't believe you, what you can do. 
Because you can do anything you want to do. You can lose the weight if you want to lose the weight. If you want to improve yourself, your body, do so. That's your body, you know. That's your body. You know, people just have to accept you. You don't have to accept them. They don't have to accept you. So don't never let nobody tell you, you know, um, you know, you too this, you too big, you too fat, you know, they have to uh, make you feel bad like that, leave, move, get away from them. Man, woman, child, no matter who you are, if someone making you feel bad about yourself, you know, making you feel worse than what you are or how you feel about yourself, it's, you, don't need, you don't need to be around that, you know? Sometimes they need a hug, you know? They might be having a bad day or whatever. Just go give them a hug and say, hey, I love you still, you know? But sometimes people need a hug or, you know, they going through their own thing, insecurities and stuff. So sometimes you got to give other people hugs too. So I know I definitely need a hug every day. I love a hug every day. Every day, a good old hug. You know what a hug can do to you? Do for you. A hug can oof, probably just have your, I mean, a good, a genuine, sincerely, did I say sincere? I'm, I'm not going to even try to do them big words. But a good hug, you know what that'll do to you? If you can get one and it means something? Mm mm. But y'all, get up, enjoy your life. Don't sit around and mope and get, you know, you have to fight to stay motivated. You have to push, you have to push. I, I fight every day. Cause I'm on here smiling and laughing don't mean I'm not going through what I'm going through. But I fight to uh, keep myself happy and motivated i fight every day you know you know what we going through today you have to fight you have to fight you have to fight i hear it every day i hear people saying they're not motivated they sad they depressed i go through that too y'all but you have to fight i believe me not you have to fight you have to fight it you have to uh get motivated you have to uh uh, love yourself you know you have to just I mean you just have to yeah, just what I just did just, you just have to fight I'm walking now you know just to get myself energized and motivated it feels so good just to get out and walk y'all it feels so good sometimes and sometimes it feels good to have somebody to walk with I don't have nobody to walk with I wish I did I wish I had y'all you know, somebody, I wish I had at least about 20 people behind me right now. We all just walking every morning, every evening, wherever it takes. I wish. Yep. I wish I had that. I want that. You know, I need that. Uh, uh, the friends, the, you know, the family or whatever. You know, just to get together and we all just have a good old walk and, and enjoy ourselves and and, and be on a healthy road, you know, be on a healthy, healthy track, you know. So, so if you got family members that love to walk and stuff, y'all get together and start walking and stuff. Enjoy yourself. How you doing? Yeah. You have to get the, get together and start enjoying yourself and and have a, a great relationship with your family and and support each other. For those who are going through their problems and weight loss and just being depressed. Yep. So if I say anything crazy during this video, I am not editing, okay? But uh, I know I probably look crazy or whatever. My face, y'all might be looking at my neck. I don't even know where the camera aiming at right now. Cause I didn't even try to look and see or nothing, but I'm finna turn around a little bit so y'all can see 
what I'm doing. I'm walking. But like I said, get out and go walk. If it's cold where you're at, that's okay. The summer is right around the corner. That's the very best time for me to go walking. And it'll probably be the best time for you to go walking. That way you won't be out here in the cold, getting sick and stuff like that. But right now it's so nice and beautiful outside. It is beautiful. It's beautiful, y'all. I clear it is. It's nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to walk down to the end. Let's see how close the end is. That's all the zoom I get. Okay, well, that's all the zoom I get. So I'm going to zoom back out. It's a long walk I have to do. But you guys, y'all stay motivated. Stay motivated with old school girl. You can call me Wanda. Um, just stay motivated. I'm here for y'all. Get up and do it. You know, if it's other things you want to do to lose weight, whether it's to the gym or whatever, motivate yourself to get up and do it get up and do it. it it took a long time it took me next month april will be a year i slow paced i didn't rush it i didn't um it's days that i didn't get up and work out it was days i didn't it's days now i i don't work out but i'm constantly moving i'm constantly staying active i'm constantly doing this i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm constantly doing something you know, as long as you're in the house, you're going to feel that depression and, you know, that stress and stuff like that, whether you're at work or not. Sometimes you be at work and you feel stressed, but don't let that bother you. When you get off work, just, you know, go in the bathroom, sneak and look at one of my videos real quick and say, ooh, look at her crazy, and go back to work, you'll feel better. So, uh, so don't give up on yourself. Give yourself that self-love and the motivation your body needs for you to lose this weight. It ain't easy for us women. You know, it ain't easy. So just don't get carried away by looking at others just losing weight. You know, you know it's fast and stuff like that. You do your own pace. You you lose the weight. You lose your weight the way you want to lose your weight. But just don't delay it. Just start losing your weight. Stop eating all the junk food. Stop eating all the bad food. Stop eating the cakes, the cookies, the ice cream. Stop eating the drinking the juices, uh, lemon. I don't care. You adding water to it. Start drinking it. Some of that stuff is bad. Start drinking some lemon water, lemon and ginger water. Uh, you know, I had cooked the other day. I cooked the other day and 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 I went live and I drank a glass of lemon water and I got off live to go eat. I couldn't even eat hardly none of it, y'all. I couldn't eat hardly none of it. That's because I drank a glass of water 30 minutes before I got to eat. So that tell you right there. Get full. Drink some water before you eat. You know, that way you won't eat as much. And I felt good that I couldn't eat, eat no more. You know, I felt good, but I was full. You know, I can go to bed now, you know. So, that way you won't overeat. But you'll still feel good, but you won't overeat, you know. So, that's a good thing. So, you won't overeat or nothing like that. Okay, now I'm turning back around. Heading back. So, I am heading back. About to end this live. Not this live. <laughs> I am not editing it. But, I'm finna end um, this little short video. 
And I want you guys to stay motivated, stay dedicated, do some self-discipline, start eating healthy. If you go around some people that's eating, just, you know, grab your salad. They'll eventually see you eating healthy. They'll say, okay, all right, maybe I need to do the same thing. So you'll be encouraging more people to eat healthy. So don't feel bad. You have to grab that salad or not eating what they eat. It's going to make you feel good when you go home. Ooh, I smell these flowers. They're so strong. I remember this scent from a long time ago. Ooh, these flowers are strong. Ooh, yeah, these are super strong. But they pretty, though. I don't know what they call, but it smells so good, y'all. It stinks at the same time, but it smells so good. Anybody know what the name of these flowers, please? Tap it down below. Ooh, they smell. Mmm, they stink, but they so pretty, y'all. So if you know the name of these, let me know. They really do stinks. But make sure y'all like this video. Uh, wherever I post it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. To my channel follow old school girl i'm i'm the most vibe vibing person you'll ever meet i'm the kindest you know easy to get along with i don't start no trouble trouble don't come to me uh, i get away from it if i feel like i don't belong i get away but until then uh right now today it's about me and this weight loss. So do not let nobody put you down. Okay? Let it be about your weight loss. Let it be about you. You know? Let it be about you. Okay. Bye.